In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, one annotation called the model attribute. How to use it? You can use model attribute in two places. One, first one is a place on a method parameter. Okay? Second one is you can place on a method. Okay? Let's give you one example one by one. Suppose you now you have a controller, like uh, we give product controller. In the product controller, you have a method annotated with get mapping or post mapping, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, mostly is a get mapping. Suppose you have a public string get product form. Okay. And now you have this thing. Let me using another color. Model attribute. And here you have a product. Product. Okay. And what this line's gonna do? Okay. This line is equals. Equals. Here you have a model. Model, okay. This line equals inside this method body, you have a statement model dot add attribute. The key gonna be the variable name product. The value is an instance of this one, of this type, new product. Got it? This lines, uh, this line of this, this piece of code equals you have a statement in this method called the model that add attribute. New product is a value. The key is a product. Okay. You can also customize the key just in the model attribute. You can add another key here. You can have another key here like a P R O D. Then here you have, you will change it to B P R O D. Okay. This is one usage. Now let me talk about another usage. Place on a method. Suppose you have a method in current controller called the list of category. And we say get a categories. Okay. And now you return a collection of the category. Suppose we call a category service dot get all. We retrieve from the database and the get all method will return a collect uh, collection of the category. And now if you add mod attribute here, And here I give a key called the CATE list. What does this line of doing? Okay. What does this entire thing doing? This entire thing equals in every in every get mapping method, it will add one line called the add attribute. The key is cati uh, list, C A T E list. The value is this one. This is gonna be the value here. So where is this statement gonna be placed? It's gonna be if you make a call. Suppose you make a call to this uh, slash gate. Okay. You make a call to here before actually execute this method. He will put, he will execute this line first. And if you have uh, three 
get mapping method inside its controller for every method being called it will put this category list in that request scope and uh, that's the usage of the model attribute i will give you a demo in the next video and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time